to the road back in calls. Hey guys, today we started off with another long drive, making our way to San Diego. It's a beautiful day and we're really excited to be spending it at the world famous San Diego Zoo. We arrived around lunchtime, but we're still eager to see as many amazing animals as possible. After grabbing our tickets and a zoo map, we made a beeline for the food area. We can't wait to show you all the incredible sights we had here. We decided on Safari Kitchen for lunch. The food was absolutely delicious and the portions were huge. We were pleasantly surprised by how much food we got for the price we paid. Oh, wait, what? What? That's sauce. Oh, I was about to say. I'm like, why is there three? No, it's just sauce. Yeah, but the onion rings, are they that big? They're in their own box, yeah. <laughs> no, this is it. Dinner's, dinner's served. Lunch and dinner. God, what have we got? Oh my God, you're not wrong. Oh, they're massive. Not diggity damn. So good. So good. I'm so scared at what these look like if that's how big. Wow. D Disney needs to bring their game. Mm. Mine is okay. beef. Yep. That's, that's big, like my hand is huge and my hand fits inside the container. Alright, uh, let's dig in. Look at the lettuce in it. That's a big burger. Did you bring your snake jaw today? Like Put it piece, over here, I'll eat it. One piece would have been enough. Very good. Right, two patties, some good cheese, apple smoked bacon. Yum. So now we're done with the food, it's now time to go see some animals. Let's go. It's like a dragonfly. Yeah. Yes. We have them at home. No. No, we don't have the hummingbirds at home. Oh. It's a dragonfly. Yeah, yeah. It's a hummingbird fly forward, up, down, and back. Daddy was awesome. You can get out of the way. Come on. It's that hovers and vibrates as it turns its wings in a figure eight movement with 200 foot beats per second. Oh, I think per second. Per second, 200 wing beats. After the magical time with hummingbirds to now exploring the world of creepy crawlies. Domino roaches. Oh yeah, the hissing cockroaches of Madagascar. Yeah. centimeters long. Taxi cab. A taxi cab beetle. Oh yeah, taxi cab. That's funny name. Just outside the insect area they had an exhibit for coates from South America. They are a member of the raccoon family as you can see with their similar ring tailed look. They are known for being curious intelligent animals and they are sometimes kept as pets in South America. They look cool. The most active thing we've seen. Wandering around. Alright, keep going. The line's it's, like not, not even half right, so. of what it was before. So we'll do the sky fire. Take us all the way to the other side of the park. There you go, we'll be on this adventure. I'm kind of terrified. Of what? Heights. Heights? <laughs> you ready? Bye ground. <laughs> oh, I'm so terrified. This is cool. 
Yeah, this is like super sketch. For anyone that's scared of heights, I certainly suggest you don't do this. We are, we are freaking high right now, Stacey. You need to take this camera, I need to hold the hell on. Oh, it's so cold. It is cold. It's not helping the situation right now. <laughs> This is not okay. Look at your beard. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, getting oh, a bit of a lean. I'm oh. pooping myself right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you see how high we are? I'm out of my comfort zone right now. This is fun. You get a whole view of the park. Well, many tops of trees, but this is pretty cool. Um, Exactly how I thought. That was good, different, but oh mate, for me, that was hard. That was fun. We're looking at some Patagonian Mara from Argentina. Did you know that Patagonian Maras form lifelong mating pairs? It's an uncommon trait among mammals. We also saw a giant ant eater, which is native to Honduras, Brazil, and Argentina. The female carries her single offspring on her back for about six months. Did you know that the tongue of an anteater can be up to two feet long? That's amazing! Now we have the polar bear flange. This is probably what I'm most excited for. <laughs> These polar bear models is a great way to understand the size of the actual polar bear. It's massive. The model also includes a cub and a newborn size, so you can see how they grow over time. Now, let's see the real bear up close. It's just one big teddy bear. San Diego Zoo also has an awesome viewing bridge that allows you to see all different types of eagles. And they even had some condors. Wingspan is three meters. And it's an eight to 15 kilo bird. There's one up on top of that rock up there. Oh yeah, they're big birds. Big birds, yeah. Oh. That, that is about four foot tall. That's a big bird. Let's keep marching. I don't know where we're marching to. We're going into Asia. Are we? Yep. This is the Eagle Trail where we're just on. Yep, we're going into Asian leopards. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Your dad's leading the way. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I brought gifts. Poor I know. I got dibs on that. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, you took my line. <laughs> Would you like to have a dip, Stacey? Yes, please. Isn't that just like those um, dots? Frozen crunches. Oh, oh that's different. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> What'd you just get? Uh, Cornettos. Oh. What'd you just call them? One that dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> they really do like look like wombat droppings. <laughs> Dips were actually really good. Mm. Dips were a solid choice. Can we recycle that? Yeah. I'm quite excited for this one. Show me what it is. Minute made frozen lemonade. Smells like lemons. Is it sour? Yeah. Tastes like lemons. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. And you like lemons. It's very sour. <laughs> it's that hard. Mm. You stepped on a goldfish. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
goldfish. <laughs> ah, who stepped on a goldfish? <laughs> that was very random. I honestly thought, I was like, I was like, why is there a goldfish like mm. on the path? Yeah, okay, it's not so sour after the first couple. Just my whole mouth can't taste anything else. We constantly Boys, eat it. Yeah, nice. it's alright. So over here in the corner, he's hiding in the corner. There's a bed to pair. A to to pair to pair. And then over on the far side, there's a capybara. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a capybara. Meet Mary, an Asian elephant with petite ears, born in 1964. Now say hello to Shaba, Mary's friend. Shaba is an African elephant, born in 1980. She is the largest elephant at the zoo. Just as much as, as it's eating, it's having come out the other end. It's like a constant cycle. As much as it puts in the front, it drops out the back. Can <laughs> you see it dropping? Oh, yeah. It's a lumber. <laughs> so, um, that's what the emperor turns into. Yeah. Emperor's new groove. I think you'll love this next exhibit. Yeah? Yeah. Look at all the holes. Oh, I know what these are. Meerkats! That's right. Yep. Like a meter on his head. <laughs> Luggies! These are baboons. With a big boy up top. Oh, wow. Mama. A long hair. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's all good. So this is a gelder. Bulbous pads on the gelder's buttocks provide cushioning and stability for sitting on the cliffs. So that's why you just like climbed up, because they, they love cliffs. But yeah, this this thing is freaky deep. Like baboons, this thing looks like it's ready to go to war. Yeah. Got like a war cape on. Yeah, it looked like it looked like if a monkey was a Viking. <laughs> yeah. Papa. 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 Oh. Hey, you got to see a gorilla. Yeah, one gorilla. Now he's gone. <laughs> That's a pygmy hippo. The park is about to close for the day, so we've got to try and squeeze in some more monkey sightings and hopefully see some bears before we leave. <laughs> They're all getting a bit active. Oh, that must be a prime seating position. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, it's up. Oh, wait, hold this one for a Angolian Columbus monkeys. They're from the coastal forests of Tanzania and Kenya. Huh. They just eat leaves, seeds, and unripe fruit. Read the fun fact. Fun fact. Columbus monkeys have reduced thumbs or none at all. Is it col Columbus? It comes from the Greek word meaning docked or cut short, referring to those thumbs. 
I like guess that's for when they jump down, they don't oh. have something to break to like, off. To like catch or something? Yeah. You wanna go see what that's what it is. For when they jump down, they've got a, they've just got an open hand. <laughs> He's hanging in a hammock. <laughs> The slopes of the Andes in South America. The next clip contains disturbing content. Viewer discretion is advised. A long pause. Better not fall. Is he gonna poop down in there? Oh, gross. That that's a way to make. Make the uh, tourists leave. <laughs> Just missed a big a wild shit over here. <laughs> 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 We're seeing it right <laughs> dead on it. <laughs> hey, she's got, she's got the camera you dead on There you go. The message is sometimes he'll jump this little pit yeah. and they have a little ball to play with. Oh, oh yeah. So he'll lay around his back and just slash it around. <laughs> you can all see some cool, cool interactions with him. I love the bears. Yeah. That's insane. The colour of them. Yeah. I think we did pretty well. We only uh, had a short day here. Um, six hours. We crammed in as much as we could. Six hours. Sounds like a lot, but it wasn't no. when you're at the zoo here. You need definitely a yeah. whole full day. Yeah. From you opening to, to close to really see everything. I don't even think then you would see everything. Yeah. I think you'd be jamming it in a little bit. But yeah. Either way, it was a great day. We um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Got to see plenty of animals. So, yeah. Thank you for yeah, watching and um, come along with us in the next video and uh, see what we're up to then. Yep. Should be good. See you next time. See ya. Bye.